Hey, gang, David Essel here. You know, for the past, well, 40 years in the world of personal growth, the last 30 years as a counselor, master life coach, best-selling author, we have worked in the world of relationships extremely intensely. As a matter of fact, probably about 60 to 70% of our counseling and coaching work on a daily basis is all about relationships, love, divorce, codependency, marriage, making up, breaking up, you name it. And one of the things that has continued to baffle so many people is why is our divorce rate still so incredibly high just in the United States? Why is it so high? Well, statistically, as a matter of fact, in our brand new book, we go into quite a bit of detail love and relationship secrets that everyone needs to know, love and relationship secrets that everyone needs to know, 55% of first marriages end in divorce, approximately 62% of second marriages end in divorce, and approximately 68% of third marriages end in divorce. I mean, it's incredible, right? Those statistics have been there for quite a long time. They're not moving very much at all. Uh, one of my friends, another counselor yesterday, we, we, her and I were talking about this and she said that she saw something that we are down one or two percentage points in divorce rate. And I said, listen, when you're at over 55% divorce rate or approximately that, to drop down to 54 isn't much of a movement, right? So why, why is it? Why is it so hard to stay married? So let's go through some examples. Number one, we move way too quick. We move way too quick. Most people, myself included in relationships, is that we're not taking the time. We're not being logical and emotional. We're making decisions based on emotion only, which is what? What relationships and love are? It's not. The healthiest relationships, the healthiest friendships are based on <clears throat> logic and emotion but we're using just emotion. So what we end up doing is, and I've got amazing stories that we share in the book, what we're doing is, is that we're falling in love emotionally, we're falling in love physically, but we're not using logic to see if there's a marriage between what we believe this person is or who we believe this person is and who they actually are. Let me give you a great example. And this is one of many from the book. So I worked with a woman helping her through a divorce. She was married for over 30 years. And so she was saying to me, you know, I just don't know what happened. We've been married over 30 years. The first 25, 28 years were amazing. The last couple of years, I started to notice a shift, but I wasn't prepared for to find out that my husband had been in an affair for 10 years. Yeah, well, who would be ready and prepared for that, right? But here's the thing. When we went back and looked at the beginning, the first 90 days of her relationship dating her husband, there were all kinds of issues. And I say this to all my clients, and we work with people from all over the world via phone and Skype, is I say, listen, your dysfunction that you're now taking care of or looking at 20, 30, 40 years later has been there in the first 90 to 120 days of your relationship. And of course, she was like one of the many people that said, oh, there's no way, David, that can't be possible. But when we went back and did the work, she saw that her very first date was totally unacceptable. The very first month, her husband pulled so many different antics that it was none of it was acceptable. So as she did the writing, and did the work, she said, God, David, I should have never married him. She said, from almost the first date, I shouldn't have, and that is one of the things that we try to share with people, is like we move way too quick. One of the reasons divorce rates are so high is because people jump into relationships. They don't pay attention to the red flags blowing in the wind, the deal killers that are all around them. They don't really pay attention to anything other than the fact of what they want to believe is true. And that's an emotional decision. Logically, as I just worked with this client, she said to me, I would have, if I would have used logic in the first month of dating my husband, I never would have dated him. So that's number one, we jump too quickly. Number two, we don't take time off in between relationships. And what does that mean? Most people, when they get out of a relationship and they're upset, are looking for a wingman or they've got a wingman or a wing girl in the corner so they don't have to be alone. So we bed hop, right? So we get out of this relationship and within a couple months, we're in another one. In reality, and this is something that we talk about once again in the book. I'd love you to grab a copy because it is a very different book on love and relationships. I'll tell you what, it's outrageously different. But on there, in the book, we say, take a year. 
You get done with a, a one or a two or a 10 year marriage or a one or a two or a 10 year relationship or a 40 year relationship. Take a year off. Work with a professional. This is going to dramatic. These two points, we're going to stop right here, will dramatically decrease the divorce rate. If number one, we use logic instead of emotion only when we're thinking about committing to someone in a relationship. And number two is that we take a complete year off. And in that year off, what are we doing? We should be working with a professional. What was our role in the dysfunction? What was our former partner's role in the dysfunction? Can I forgive all resentments and all anger, rage, disappointment in my partner? Can I forgive myself for being ignorant, for being naive, for not paying attention to the signs, for not wanting to see the signs, right? Like, I want you to really think about this. We can dramatically decrease that divorce rate. We can increase the percentage of healthy relationships. In the book, we prove that 80% of relationships in our country suck. I'm a counselor. I would love to say 80% of relationships in this country are amazing, but they're not. We can change it. That's why I wrote the book. That's why I do the work I do. So remember those two keys. Take time, use logic in the dating phase to see if there's things that aren't copacetic for you. Number two, take a year off, work with a professional, see your role, their role, forgive them completely, get them out of your existence, and then you put yourself in a position for a great relationship. If you need help, we work with people from all over the world via phone and Skype, we have for 30 years, and our work is 100% money back guaranteed, so you really have nothing to lose. Go to davidessel.com or talkdavid.com, grab the book, Watch this again. Share this video. I really want to decrease the divorce rate. I really want to enhance the percentage of healthy relationships. And maybe with your help of sharing this kind of information on social media, we can start the ball rolling, okay? I'm David Essel. Have a great day.